Hey there, this is Minty Lighthythe, and I'm a natural science, nature artist, and illustrator. I often get the question, what is a scientific illustrator? And the best answer that I can give you is that I have a passion for drawing the beauty of nature. For over 30 years, I've been drawing and painting and creating artwork inspired by nature for a variety of clients and projects. I've published a book with Walter Foster, The Art of Botanical and Bird Illustration, which is a step-by-step -step guide of drawing birds and plants. I've been featured in Watercolor Magazine for my guana. I've written and illustrated the book called Mother Monarch which is Shipper Publishing, and along with that, Nature's Wisdom, which is a really fun oracle card deck, which talks about all of the aspects of nature and how it relates to your everyday life. I've also been a featured artist on Artsy Shark, and also for my insects on Artist Magazine. I've also done tutorials for Colored Pencil Magic, and recently, I've just done a project with a friend of mine, Where the Wild Sloths Roam, which is a self-published book between the two of us. It's a wonderful tale of two sloths in Costa Rica. I've had the wonderful experience over the years to work as an adjunct professor at the University of Florida. Here, I'm able to work in the ornithology, mammalogy, and entomology departments, and it's given me great joy to produce a variety of techniques and work with the students producing wonderful drawings. Here you'll see a collection of some of the skulls that I've drawn. I teach how to flesh out from the bones out. An example of this is the owl and the Florida panther. And part of my job also is drawing and depicting invasive plants in Florida. This is an ongoing project that I work on and most of these illustrations are done in pen and ink for reproduction purposes. Throughout my career I definitely work in multi-mediums. I am definitely not a purist. My classical training comes from the New York Botanical Gardens where I learned botanical illustration. I started working in graphite and then proceeded on to learn many different techniques. Graphite allows me to work out a lot of the surface contour, the surface texture, and the pigmentation, and also the anatomical component of my subjects. I also work in watercolor and find an expressive and spontaneous method while using it. It can be used for fur, feathers, flowers, and a variety of different textures working with granulated pigments. I also adore working in colored pencil. Colored pencil has one of the properties that I love the best, which is vibrant, shimmering color. By learning to work in layers and building up color, I'm able to work with a specific scientific light source that creates iridescence and shine. Wash is also an amazing medium to work with. It's similar to watercolor, but it has an opacity to it. Because it's water medium, I'm able to work with watercolor and gouache, but gouache has the aspect of being opaque. This medium is wonderful to work with when I'm doing animals, particularly when I'm recreating fur. Often I like to combine different techniques. Sometimes I work with colored pencil and pastels. The backgrounds in these two portraits were done with pastels and they make a great combination. Sometimes working with just straight pastel is a lot of fun also. My latest passion is solar printing. Solar printing is a new way of doing etching in a traditional printmaking method that does not use harsh chemicals. I create my plate, I print it, in black and white, and then I go in and hand tint the colors. Each one of them is individual and unique. I can create an addition of approximately 25 to 50 images with one of my solar etching plates. Through a vast knowledge of different approaches and techniques, I'm able to grow and apply combinations to create my unique vision of the natural world. If you are an artist, whether a beginner or a professional, I believe there are videos here which will inspire you and help you to think outside the box. It's my vision for myself and for others to create work that is unique and not just a replication of a photo or another artist's work. I focus on creating fundamentally sound drawings, observing from nature. I have divided the videos into categories here to make it easier for you to explore the possibilities. I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's absolutely free. By subscribing, you will receive notifications when I upload new and fresh videos. I hope you will join me in drawing the beauty of nature. Hope to see you soon.